Okay, well this uh, video is for my sister Becky and uh, granddad. And uh, a couple years ago, my sister gave me some money to go out and buy a 3D printer because I told her that's something I need to learn how to do to make better pulse motors like Laser Saber. And I did some research and I just backed away from it. It was too complicated, too expensive. Um, I didn't like what I saw. And then uh, basically left it alone. It, but uh, this year something happened. And what happened was my friend Granddad did this. And Granddad is an old man. He has a YouTube channel. I'll give you a link to it. And this man here, Guzman Walt, it's what his handle is on YouTube, came up with a very, very simple 3D printed solar motor. Very, very simple, using one of these solar waiver drivers. And it's like this, only it's a 3D printed thing. And Granddad went into it really, really well and, and explained uh, the dynamic of a 3D printer enough to get me to bite on it. And so I bought one of these Ender 3 3D printers. They're not very expensive. They're on Amazon. Now, my problem was I had a terrible learning curve because I knew nothing about this. So it took me some time to learn how to do this. But here it is printing. And uh, it's printing this little pig. It's a piggy bank. And uh, it's actually been running for a couple of hours. It takes a long time to print this stuff, at least the way I have it set up. But it is a fascinating subject. If somebody wants to go ahead and try to get involved with it, it uses a, a plastic called PLA or ABS. And uh, the PLA is, is what they recommend. It's like what these lids are made out of. And it doesn't smell. And it's pretty durable. It's pretty stiff. So you can have something printed up that's kind of like my lids here. But... Like I say, this is what got me going. I'll give you a link to this man's uh, build of it. And then what Granddad did was he modified it. He took the STL file for what the motor was called for, and he modified it to make it how he wanted it. And, of course, that's what I want to be able to do is take designs and modify them and then be able to reproduce them. And years ago, Laser Saber printed up the uh, easy spin motors and I, of course I have one that's been running for about three years but he is the master of this um, as far as I'm concerned is 3d printed motors and the reason he got involved with it really was so that people could take the STL files right off their computer and replicate the motor and so anyway uh, what you do is you have a little uh, micro SD chip and it comes with this adapter. You plug it in the computer and you go into a um, designing site. Um, Tinkercad is what uh, granddad's using. A Cura or whatever is what the Ender people are, are using uh, a lot on this thing. But this is another facet of this I'm going to have to learn is the actual designing of the piece. And I'm having to start out at the very, very low, low level of how to use the design functions and then put the design in a little chip and then put the little chip in the machine right here and then tell the machine, build what I just designed. So anyway, this is the latest on this thing. And thank you, Becky, for the birthday present. It took a long time for me to get it, but uh, it works really, really good. And um, it doesn't make much noise it sounds about like a, a room fan and uh, with this uh, PLA material this plastic it doesn't smell now they said the ABS uh, plastic does have an odor so I might have a problem with that but I'm real happy I got this to work it was uh, a long time though it took me days to learn uh, how to put it together and what to do with it and um, then it'll take me a long time to learn how to actually design using the 3D printer um, design size. But anyway, that's the latest. And thanks, Granddad. And thank you this for this man right here for designing such a very simple little pulse motor using a drive unit that is commonly available. It's one of these solar waiver guts. They just come apart. You just take the drive unit and you can put the drive unit under that thing and make it work. Or you can 
redesign it like granddad here and make it better. So that's the latest. Thank you.